Well, apparently you can unbake a cake. And anybody in audio knows exactly what I mean when I say that. This is Hit and Mix Infinity, a new kind of audio editor. This is not based on the waveform or spectral editing. This is based on what they call atomic editing. The idea is that you can break audio down into its individual ingredients and then do basically whatever you want to them. In a way, it lets you treat audio like MIDI. You can also use MIDI in here as well. The way I really describe this to sort of understand what it does is I think of it more like Photoshop, but for audio. Now, personally, I use Affinity Photo, but same difference, you know, whatever uh, image editor that you use, uh, it's like that. It's like Photoshop for audio. So let me show you some of the really cool, almost mind blowing stuff that you can do with this. So the first thing we need to do is get some audio in here. Now you can drag in individual, you know, stems, audio files, whatever you want, but we're going to drag in a fully mixed song. Okay. Just drag and drop, choose the way you want to rip and go ahead and rip that in. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. Then you can of course play it back. Okay, so over here you can see everything has been color coded, broken down. Now, if something isn't correct, you can always change what it's assigned to. But like this, we're able to say solo just the voice. Come up here. So we can always go in there and really start cleaning the note, come in here to the note editor and do a bunch of stuff, remove sound, adjust level, smooth things out, change a bunch of uh, stuff in here, clean the frequencies noise removal, note editor, all kinds of stuff we can do. I'm gonna to try to keep this sort of simple down to sort of you know concepts here uh, for this uh, video. But what if I wanted to adjust maybe this bass? All right, I could just uh, maybe pull it down in the mix so it's not so present. Or pull it up in the mix. All right, so essentially we're you know remixing this uh, this stereo file, this fully mixed and bounced stereo file, where we are remixing it without having the stems. Uh, so if you have loops or you have songs that you don't have all of the individual things for, you can throw it into infinity here and go ahead and mix essentially like you had all of the individual uh, stems. What else could we do here? Just uh, real quick. So let me click on a note. It's going to play. We could come up here maybe and do some sort of effects, replace the sound, reverse, wow, and flutter. Let me do this here. I'll click on this and we'll go with pitch here. We'll just increase it by an octave there, apply that to that selection, and then you see what happened to that note there. We can play that back. Kind of cool. Be able to do, you know, to be able to do that with a fully mixed track. Let's come to our vocals here. And there's you can see all of these tips over here. So it's a sort of a easy way to learn how this uh, works. There's also a bunch of videos that you can access. Just solo that voice right there. And what do you say we apply reverb after the fact? And that would be impossible on a fully mixed track, right? Well, it's not here. I'm just gonna grab all those vocals. I'm gonna come up here and choose reverb. Increase it a little bit. There we go. Now we've added reverb to just the voice, just those vocals, nothing else. Play that back. So that's pretty cool that uh, you can do that, but we can get even crazier here. You know how sometimes in Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you might have uh, an image, a picture that you you know, you like some portion of one image and you want to use it in an, another image. Well, that's essentially what we're going to do here. So I've already pulled in another song. Let's check out this song here. This place. I don't wanna leave. So I like this vocal better here. Yeah, you got me so caught up inside this moment with you. So there's a bit of a problem right there, right? Let me solo this bass too. Maybe the guitar. No, I think it's this bass right here. Bit of a problem right here. It's okay. 
can select that and assign that to my voice there. I'm in this mindset that there's nothing that I can lose. Right there. Missed the word there. No problem. You can always come in here and, uh, you know, if it doesn't assign things properly, in assign that to the voice there. Can lose in okay. Can lose in been cool. Again, you can really get uh, very detailed with your editing in here, editing your unpitched high end layers up here or the low. You can get as detailed as you want. You can clean the notes, clean the frequencies, clean the phase, tons of stuff you can do. I'm not gonna cover everything. Let's just do this here. Let's grab our voice, this, this new vocal that we like. And I'm just going to select that layer. I'm gonna hit Control C just to copy that. I'm gonna come over here to my demo song now. I'm actually gonna add a layer here. I'm gonna call this um, voice two. So I like the voice in that song and I wanna use it in this song. Can you do that? Not unless you have the stems. Well, now I can. Come up here to edit, or I could just use Control V. I can paste this in. And if you have something that's not even the right tempo, you can actually paste and fit the tempo so everything you know lines up. Of course, you can always do this manually as well. Paste in that new uh, vocal there. Let me make sure we have this all here. Now, while it's still glowing, I'm gonna go ahead and click Voice 2. So all of that is on the uh, proper layer. So then I'm gonna need to just, uh, as you can see, it's, it's not in time yet, or it's not in the right position. Yeah, you got me so, so with our voice layer, the voice layer that's actually in this audio file right here, I'm just gonna mute that, okay? I could delete it, but I'm just gonna mute it. Come back down to this voice layer here, make sure everything is selected. I'm just gonna drag this down, okay? And put it where it belongs. Okay, so now we have it placed pretty much properly, and now we have a new vocal in a fully mixed song. Again, we took one vocal from a different song, put it in a different completely mixed song, something that you really you know, can't do, but uh, you can hear with infinity. So check out a little bit of this here. Of course, there's some things in here that I could, like these notes here. I don't actually need those. I could get rid of those. I can always clean this up. You know, just understand the concepts of what you can actually do with this here. Clean all of that up and get it sounding absolutely perfect. And if it's not, you know, completely timed right, and it's not a big deal. You can always grab this manually. This move it around however you want. You can stretch it out. Do whatever you want with all of this stuff here. So again, what we've basically done here is took a completely mixed stereo file, removed the vocal, went to another stereo file, copied that vocal, and then put it in our first song. That's pretty cool that you're actually able to do that. And there's way more you can do uh, with this as well. Every, everything from you know very basic things like cleaning up some noise in a, a vocal track, you know, cleaning up background noise or or little clicks and pops. You can do all that stuff here in uh, Infinity as well. Let me come over to something else here. Come on. Come on. All right, what if we wanna do this? Let's do this here. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna Control C to copy it, Control V to paste come it on. right on top of itself. Then I'm just gonna drag it up. So basically, I've now created a harmony. I can pull this up however much I want. So that's pretty cool that you can actually do that. All right, so that's a bass, of course. You know, if I want to change the pitch, I can just drag it up manually. If I want to, drag it back, Control Z, put that back down. We can do things like volume, the panning. We already did a little bit of the pitch. We can create chords and all that stuff. So grab this one here maybe and create chord, uh, chord out of that, set up, you know, set this up however you want. That works. Then you have a chord there. Of course, doesn't sound good here on the bass, but imagine doing that, uh, doing that with like a piano uh, or something. So again, we're doing things here that uh, almost treating audio like MIDI, where you know, 
pulling it around, mixing it, matching it, uh, really manipulating it in every single way that you, that you can with MIDI or that you can with uh, image in Photoshop. We can now do that with, uh, with audio. And there's a bunch of tools up here uh, called your audio tools. You can also uh, right click or audio shop uh, tools, move and resize, edit the unpitched. You can draw in the sounds if you want. So I can draw in the sound here. Let me go up here and maybe go to primary and maybe an acoustic guitar sound. We can draw in sounds. Just draw them in however you want. Of course, add to your uh, add uh, to your song. We could select notes here, go to the note editor, all kinds of options in here. Remove sound, paint, erase, adjust level, smooth, you know, all kinds of stuff that you can do in here to get it absolutely uh, you know, perfect sounding here. If you need to remove some stuff in here, you can do that again. You can always remove noise and things like that as well. And there are already things set up in here where you can come to noise removal if you need to do that and do that really quickly. Remove background noise, remove a foreground noise here. Just using that uh, rip script. Uh, you can create your own rip scripts. They're written in Python. Again, more things uh, you can do in here. Cleaning the frequencies, cleaning the phase. Uh, again, if you have a little portion that's just out of phase in your mix uh, and you can't go back and fix that, well, you can throw it in here into infinity and go ahead and uh, you know, fix up your phase. Zoom in here. So you, can see you can put a pattern to your notes. So that's an overview, a real quick look at sort of the basics, the things that you can do, some ideas of things that you might want to do with Hit and Mix Infinity. If you want to learn more about it, I highly suggest you head over to their website. You can actually download a free trial if you want to try it out for yourself uh, before you purchase it. And they have a full list of YouTube videos. I'll also put their YouTube channel uh, down in the description below so you can watch. They have a bunch of little short videos of, of more ideas of ways that you might want to try using uh, Hit and Mix Infinity. So if you want to check it out, head over to hitandmix.com. Of course, the link will be in the description below. Check out all of their videos right here. Get some more ideas of ways you might want to use this. Also, by the way, you if you have, you know, this works in some DAWs like Pro Tools, for example. If you have audio in Pro Tools, you can actually send that over to Infinity, uh, do whatever you need to do with it, and then send it back into Pro Tools. So you can do that with you know, a select few DAWs. It doesn't, doesn't work with all of them, but it does work with, uh, uh, with Pro Tools. So again, head over here, get your free trial. Uh, check it out, the Audio Shop Tools. Like I said, it's sort of like Photoshop for audio. So the Audio Shop Tools. Um, you know, blending your sounds, joining and cutting notes, all the kind of stuff. We didn't even go over even, honestly, I didn't even go over like a quarter of what you could uh, do with this. Uh, things like cleaning up audio, just really, you know, you can do really simple things with hit and mix infinity as well, or really, you know, really complex things like we kind of did here by uh, you know, completely removing a vocal, grabbing a different song, a different mix, taking that vocal and then putting it uh back in that first song. So that is Hit and Mix Infinity Photoshop for audio. Be sure to check this one out, download the free trial, head up here, do the help and activation, and head right over to the YouTube videos on their own page, and it will give you some more ideas of things that you can do, you know, from very simple things to way more complex things like we've done here. All right, so this is Hit and Mix Infinity.